Grandmaster Yoda is one of the three main Jedi blamed for the fall of Anakin Skywalker and in turn the fall of the Republic, along of course with Maze Windu and Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you agree with those three, let me know, but it seems pretty obvious. Anyways, Yoda is blamed a lot for the arrogance of the Jedi, for not taking the dark side seriously enough, for thinking only the Jedi way of thinking is correct. But we don't really get to see Yoda discuss his thoughts on these things all that much. Things such as the dark side and embracing it, things such as the chosen one and the prophecy, bringing balance to the force, Darth Sidious, all these important things that the Grand Master of the Jedi should probably have been more involved with. So, today, I'm going to take you through another excerpt from the book, Labyrinth of Evil, the direct prequel to Revenge of the Sith. It's an outstanding book. I highly recommend you read this, the novelization of Revenge of the Sith. They're so good. And we're going to go to Yoda as he contemplates the dark side and the chosen one. And this takes place immediately before the attack on Coruscant. So basically, immediately before Revenge of the Sith. I really enjoyed this, so I hope you enjoy listening. Let's get right into it with Yoda meditating in his quarters about all of this. Yoda surrendered himself to the current of the Force. Sometimes, when the current was swift and steadfast, he could see through the eyes of his fellow Jedi, almost as if they were the temple's remote sensors. And sometimes, when the current was especially forceful, when it surged as if descending from great heights, he could hear the voice of Qui-Gon Jinn as clearly as if he were still alive. He'd say, Master Yoda, we still have much to learn. The Force remains a code only partially deciphered, but another key has been found. We will become stronger than we have ever been. Today was not one of those days. Today, the current was interrupted by eddies and whirlpools, hydraulic traps whose roar overpowered the voices that Yoda sought to hear. Today, the current was not pellucid, but muddied by red soil, eroded from distant shores, treacherous with obstacles, tainted. Though he was scarcely aware of it, his eyelids were squeezed tight, eyeballs dancing beneath, as if incapable of focusing on any one thing. He had an image of himself drawing aside a veil, only to find another, and another behind that as the search for Sidious continued. The dark side frustrated his every effort to see clearly. The experience was still something new to him. Even though he'd had centuries to grow accustomed to the forest boating, he had lived far longer without it. The dark side never completely disappeared. It scratched at the surface like an insect, crawling across a transparent panel, and he had been able to sense its incremental increases in strength when the Jedi aired, or when the Republic aired, and soon the two were hand in hand. Drawn into the mistakes of the Republic, Yoda thought. The Jedi had been drawn in with it, but knowingly, and sometimes with full complicity, allowed the dark side to take root, the Jedi had. Allowed arrogance to infect the order, the Jedi had. A priority holding on to power had become. Inflated by their own conquests, the Jedi became. Some Jedi believed that Yoda wasn't aware of these things, or that he hadn't done enough to stem the tide of the dark side. Some believed that the Council had acted improperly, or worse, ineptly. What they failed to understand, what all the Jedi failed to understand, was that, once rooted, the growth of the dark side was inexorable, and could only be reversed by the one born to restore balance. Yoda was not that one. Aged, experienced, diplomatic, informative, brilliant with a lightsaber. Yes, all of these things, and not unacquainted with the power of the dark side, for that reason, he understood just how dangerous this new Sith Lord was. He hadn't had a sense of that danger until he'd fought Dooku on Geonosis. Then, Yoda understood. In self-exile for a thousand years, the Sith had not merely been waiting for an appropriate time to re-emerge and exact revenge, but for the birth of one strong enough to embrace the dark side fully and become its dedicated instrument. This was Sidious powerful enough to hide in plain sight, powerful enough to instruct his apprentice, Dooku, to expose him, and still remain hidden from the Jedi, and as arrogant as the Jedi, convinced that his way was the only way. Did he know about Skywalker? Yoda wondered. Surely he did. What better way to ensure total victory than by killing, or worse, corrupting the Chosen One, even if not him? 
Someone so strong in midichlorians. Someone birthed by the force itself, Qui-Gon would have said. Never a doubt that Anakin's mother may have been lying. The boy had no father, Yoda remembered hearing. The Sith were well aware of Skywalker. How would he react when they try and tried to finally ensnare him? Yoda wondered. How would he react when Sidious tried to take Skywalker? Then Yoda's eyes snapped open. A disturbance in the Force of such magnitude that he'd been hurled from the current. At his thought command, the window shutters in his quarters opened and he gazed out on Coruscant, over the plain of the works and beyond. Something was wrong with the sky. Behind gathered clouds turned red and gold by noxious smoke. A light storm, pulsing light, brighter than the waning rays of Coruscant's sun. Movement as well. Outside Coruscant's busy envelope, not seen, but sensed. An attack. So there's Yoda, the wisest Jedi of them all. Age 900 or so years. Been through many stages of the Republic. Seen 50 different Chancellors. And despite all of it, he is wise enough to know there's only so much he can do about any of this. The dark side. And the dark side has spent some thousand years festering, waiting for the perfect time to reveal itself. And if you think about it, maybe this is a stretch, but Yoda talked about how the Sith were able to hide in plain sight and just wait for the perfect one to be born to kind of give the dark side to. And a parallel can be drawn to Yoda's exile, waiting basically for Luke or Leia to be powerful enough to take over the Sith. Just kind of reverse what they did on them in a much shorter period. Just a little parallel. Anyways, perhaps the Jedi's arrogance was thinking that they could ever stop the dark side. The Sith, the dark side, waited forever for the perfect vessel to be born in order to reveal themselves. That vessel, of course, is Sidious, who the Jedi don't know is actually Palpatine, and Yoda understands the power of the dark side. He knows even he is not the one who can stop it. That role, supposedly, despite his doubts, is belonging to the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. The young boy Qui-Gon told Yoda was born from the Force without a father. Yoda admitted he thought that the, this could all be untrue. There, there was no denying the midichlorians and the strength in the Force that Skywalker possesses. Yoda also acknowledges that the Sith must know about Skywalker, and they must have plans to either kill him or corrupt him, as he was kind of the only true threat to the Sith. And in Revenge of the Sith, Yoda is unsurprised to see what Anakin has become when him and Obi-Wan explore the temple after Order 66. It's as if he always knew this to be a possibility. Then the question must be asked, why not do more to guide Anakin and to help him from staying away from the darkness? That was a fatal flaw. Yoda just seems to refuse to mess with the future, to mess with destiny, and instead just let things play out. The Jedi could have saved Anakin, but they did not. And that's just going to be the end of our video today. You gotta wonder, why not do more to help Anakin? Yoda even acknowledged in the book what would his response be when the Sith eventually came for the Chosen One. And in the movies, in the books, just in Star Wars lore, Yoda really had no response except trying to kill the Sith and then going into exile. It's an error on his part, an error on the Jedi's part. Again, he kind of knows Anakin's the key to everything. Still never truly embraced it so let me know what you thought of today's video about yoda and yeah thank you for watching so much i'll see you in the next video